What's this got to do with the DNA test? No, not Chris. Ever since Nick Jordan's been back, he has been carving out his own niche. He's no threat to me. He's a threat to you and Diane. Mark, go away! The conversation we had in Ghana on the beach. You know what I'm asking. I think I've moved on. Statistics from medical research. A little, like, bedtime reading. Mr. Jordan lent it to me. He said he thought it would come in handy for the cardiovascular research post. And the hospital library didn't have a copy. Yeah, but Mr. Jordan said that this new edition's got an interesting addendum worth checking out. Well, Mr. Jordan's probably more up-to-date than the rest of us. Just because you think he's only looking out for himself doesn't necessarily make it true. I'll prove it. It's not me that you need to prove it to. Right, Holby City has been a war. For pity's sake, can't. Sorry. Uh, Can we go for another take, please? No, it's fine. Sorry, I've got to get back to Darwin anyway. I'm sure you have enough for your introduction. Yeah, sure, I suppose. We can get more later. Yes, yes, it's about time. Whatever you say. Let's move on to the ward. Mr. Jordan introducing his patient of the day. I think the light might be a little bit murky in here. Let me worry about the light. You concentrate on looking good. Shouldn't be too hard. What's going on? Um, new promo video for, for the hospital. Oh. I'll say, a little overdue. When Mr. Griffin started our current one, he was still with his first wife. Wish I'd known in advance. Mm. Why? Would you want better shoes? Personally, I'd rather not have my time wasted that leads to us. Let's just pretend we're not there, shall we? Is there any chance we can get someone who looks a bit sicker? A terminal patient, maybe? So now we pay someone to shoot around the problems, make us look good, instead of spending money on the wards. Look, so. Rick, the fact is, hospitals are in competition with each other. We have to project a, an appealing image to the public. Oh. You can see why you're procrastinating about who should be your supervisor with rock and a hard place. Well, I, I mean, I haven't really had the time to see. Yes, well, let me know at the end of the day. Okay, okay camera rolling, sound okay. speed, and action. Don't worry, I keep my stethoscope where it's warm, close to my heart. Who's moved Anthea Sanders off the theatre list for today? Oh, sorry. I've got a transfer coming out from St James's and uh, Edie is sending a taxi crush up. We can't keep the poor woman waiting forever. Every day I keep promising, every day I have to let her down. Don't like letting people down. We really need to get this scene done before yeah, lunch or the whole schedule yes, will go here. I'm ready. Ready? Sorry. Sorry. Rick, is there any chance that you could squeeze Anthea Sanders onto your list today? She's been waiting for three days. Possibly. I'll get back to you. Thanks. Hi, Anthea. How are you feeling? As Dorothy Parker said, take care of the luxuries and the necessities will take care of themselves. But speaking of luxuries, could you ask your nurses not to take home the forgotten chocolates of those fortunate enough to be discharged? There are some of us in greater need. And a few of your girls don't need any more help with their hips. <laughs> May I? Hmm? I put in an order for rabbit and chocolate sauce for my lunch today. But the orderly made it O oh, with her mouth the size of the channel. <laughs> well, I'm begging you, please, 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 take my gallbladder. And let me go home to civilization. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. So you're still tender. Oh. We're waiting on the results of your repeat ultrasound, but um, I'm certain that it'll say that we're right to keep you in. Ah, now the bad news. An emergency case has taken your slot. It's looking unlikely that we're going to be able to operate on you today. I'm so sorry. You don't understand. A place like this is really not for me. Mm. Well, sometimes I feel the same. Well, at least we can forget the nil by mouth. Well, let's just wait until lunchtime. I'm working on a favour. Well, work harder, my dear. Excuse me, sir. You're not allowed to smoke that in here. Mum, you're back. Well, I thought it was about time. <laughs> Rachel's feeling better. Your dad sounds like he's been a prize lemon, so I thought I'd uh, come and shake things up a bit. Well, I didn't move you to come running. No, don't worry. I'll straighten things out. Everything will be back to normal. You'll see. Sir, I asked you to put that cigarette away. 
Oh, sorry, it, it calms me. I won't light it, I promise. That's Lawrence Bremen. It's Connie's special patient. Due to the large amount of money he donates towards the hospital. Oh, but rich, is he? Yeah. Bremen biscuits. Local firm, he owns it. Apparently he's got a chest infection, but he's not being admitted. I don't know, I don't understand it. That's Williams. Would you like to have you back? When you uh, next want time off, perhaps we could work out a mutually agreeable date rather than you just walking out? Yeah, sorry. Anyway, back now, raring to go. Have we got Mr. Bremen's test results back yet? <coughs> Check. Perhaps Mr. Bremen should be in a bed. Please, we agreed. I don't want to be admitted. You said you could find out without me having to stay on. Just a bed to lie in. I'll let you keep your shoes on. I promise. Thank you. Uh, there's been a slight mix-up. His results are in AAU. Mr. Bremen is a personal friend. Not to mention the generous donations he makes to the hospital, so let's show him how well his money's spent. OK, I'll get the porter to go and get the results. I'll go. Um, also, there's a film crew here making a hospital promo. I know no one likes it, but let's just put up with it. And let's try and look professional when the cameras are on. So, volunteering to go down to AAU, are we? No time like the present. I'll sort you down. out. It's not like girls can't know about all what they do. Like Miss Morton says in geography, you can know your capitals, you just don't try. I know it's senior. You don't feel bad that it's dad taking me to the trials. Right now, Max, I feel bad that I can't find my swipe card. Great. Now I'm due a lecture on single parenting from Dr. Griffin's grandmother. Maybe if girls didn't squeeze their feet into those point issues, they could kick better. Oh, do you want to know how good I can kick? Then button it. You think handbags make us more organised? There's just more places to lose stuff. Max? Look, why don't you go and wait for your dad in the cafe, right? Don't talk to any strangers, and if you need me, pick up an internal phone. It's 50 pence. Am I supposed to do a 50p? Mm, I love you, kiddo. Be brilliant at those trials. Don't be nervous. I'm not nervous. You'd be great. Go. I know a good child minder I could recommend. Harvey's taken him to the county footy trials. Just easier to pick him up from here, that's all. When you're a single parent, you can get bogged down trying to prove you've got everything under control. I'm not trying to prove anything, and I can cope fine if people stop judging me. I'm not. I'm just saying, I've just been saying. there. Excuse me. What happened to uh, Karen Johnson? I came in last night with respiratory problems. She was fine. Sent home with a course of antibiotics. Why do you want to know? I don't. Just pretend we're talking about it. My shirt. Thanks. I'm taking Donna out for drinks. Great. You'll be the perfect catalogue couple. Good looking, not a thought bubble between you. Nurse Tyson? Just checking up on a patient from last night is sorted now. Mm. Daniel, I, I'm Kyla. Daniel King was brought badly beaten into the ED in the early hours. Fractured cheekbone, multiple abrasions and bruises. X-rays show fractures undisplaced. Also punctures in the thigh of indeterminate depth. How'd that happen? Ambulance guy said I fell on some broken railing. I don't remember any of it. I've asked Justin Fuller to check his leg mobility later this morning. Also, I want 30-minute neurobs to make sure there's no further deterioration. He came in slurring his speech. Because I'd had a drink. People slow when they've been drinking. Oh, if you've had a serious head injury, it's good you were kept in. My son reckons girls can't play football because they're too into the stilettos. What's your opinion? Be a bit hard up and down. And why do you wing in high heels? You don't think it's Beckham style, then? <laughs> ah. ah, I bet you didn't know smiling could be painful. Now, do you know about that buzzer? Anything you need, you just press, right? Be back in a minute. Oh, hey. Message for you. Oh, great. Harvey's cancelled on Max again. Why don't you ask Dr. Griffin some time off? Oh, yeah. After I just told her how well I can cope. Like I said, not a thought bubble between you. <laughs> hey, stranger. Well, it's nice to see you. You down here with Jess now? Uh, no, she's on orthopaedics. <laughs> Lucky thing, they're well fit down there. You OK? You're tired. He's back. <laughs> well, charming. Hello would be nice. You obviously didn't get me messages. I'd apologise for not ringing you back, except you've been just as bad. And what's there to say? Well, you've got Chrissy all paranoid and worked up. I've been handling it. What do you really want, Trisha? For you to pull yourself together. 
Lawrence Bremen, I think, has resulted been sent down here by mistake. Lawrence Bremen from the Biscuit Company? Well, he's on Darwin. No, he's not officially anyway yet. Oh, thanks. What, what's wrong with him? We don't know, Donna. That's why we need the test results. So you're not holding it very well. I'm finding it hard being around her. Well, I'm back now. I'll carry some of the weight. Listen, as long as we act like everything's normal, pretty soon Chris is going to stop asking what's wrong. <sighs> Maybe it's best we just stay out of each other's way, eh? Yeah, fine. <sighs> that was Chrissy on the phone. They're short-staffed on Darwin, so you'll spend the day over there. Lucky you, eh? So, you run out here onto the trolley. Right. Working it, working it. This one needs blah, blah. She's not going to make it, so let it go. You reach over... Fix her. Into gloves. Ready no, and into theatre. Got that? Excuse me. Come out of there. Naomi, I am bending over backwards to try and help you here. But this isn't really the sort of tone we discussed. I know it's supposed to be fun, but can we keep it real? And here I've got the results of your ultrasound back. It's as we expected with gallbladder, but um, it's showing some nodules on your liver, indicating possible cirrhosis. I see. Would you say you drink excessively? Not anymore, no. Well, I'd like to run some blood tests, to be certain. Do you know how hard it was to find you? Best not mention the nodule thing is, if you don't mind. I left a message on your phone. No, you didn't. Not that you deserved them. I wouldn't have known you were here if it weren't for the fact you tried to get Sharon to deliver. She's a trained chef, Anthea, not a takeaway service. I'm Carrie Haynes, Anthea's friend. Pleased Dad, to meet you. Hi. So what's going on? Gallbladder. Time for it to go. We're just waiting on a slot. Don't eat those. Camera rolling and action. The circus has come to town. Yeah, it doesn't look like Mr. Jordan minds too much. No, well, he obviously enjoys being in the spotlight. Mm. Now, there's the problem. There's a perforation in the rectal sigmoid junction. Sorry. Uh, you didn't manage to get Anthea Saunders onto your list? I'm sorry, Dan. I really did try, but I, I just can't justify bumping somebody for a, a gallbladder. Maybe tomorrow. Thanks. You filmed over here yet? Anthea's a genuine author. Really? A couple of stories in magazines hardly gives me author status. She's very good. Can we uh, film her? We could track her through a treatment. No, no, that patient's room. operation has had to be rescheduled. Um, however, this next patient's due in theatre soon, so if it's theatre shots you yes, want... Yes, but she would be very good in the promo. Naomi, we all have schedules to adhere to, please. Why does the camera always seem to be pointing at you? Oh, shush. <laughs> Do you know, I'm trying so hard not to let it wind me up. Huh. I think I'll make her feel relaxed, though. Connie just stops her all the time. Right. Let's get Mr. Bremer and admitted, please. Connie, we agreed. No, I don't know what's going on, but you come here in, uh, well, poor health, to say the least, and yet you insist on making it unofficial. Breathe in. How long have you had that? I used to suffer from eczema as a kid. I just assumed it was back. Let's uh, take a coat of this, please. Yeah. And uh, put some antihistamine cream on it. Lawrence... Your chest X-ray, CT scan and lung function test will say the same thing. You have a form of interstitial lung disease. I will need to take a sample of it to know exactly what we're dealing with and I'd like to get you into theatre straight away. Nurse Williams will fill out your forms. Have you got a slot? Yeah, I have now. We had a meeting arranged. At work? Where I'm clearly not. I've got nothing. No savings, no pension. You owe me. Well, let's go. Or I'll have to call security. This isn't over, and you know it. Oh, sorry, kiddo, your dad's bailed on us again. Well, this is my chance to play for the county. You'll be a chance. I'm going to juggle things so I can take you. But everyone else, though, have their dads. Yeah, that's what makes you special. Now, stay in here. Sit down. Don't touch anything. I'll come again. Can I just go practice outside? With ambulances driving full speed. Yeah. All right, Daniel, I'm going to take your temperature. Got a mark on your shoulder. What kind of mark? 
Huh? Could be from the person that hit you. Have you spoken to the police yet? I don't want to. I mean, it's not like I can tell them anything. Well, it'll be faded in a couple of days. It'll be too late then. I want it to fade. Daniel? What are you doing here? Is he okay? No. I mean, you know, gonna be okay. I and mean, his brother-in-law were out together last night. And when you didn't come into work. Does Ennis know? It's, um, it's best she doesn't. Please don't tell her. I said I won't. So, uh, how is it? Well, he's got some nasty bruises. Suspected fractured cheekbone. And what's that? Uh, I fell on some railings. It's bleeding through your dressing. Well, railings? I mean, we'd had a few, but not that many. It's not your fault. Lola wants me to assess Daniel's leg mobility and function. Uh, oh. Max, what are you doing here? Arterial bleed! I mean, what's happening? Okay, keep the pressure on. We'll tie it off. Nothing to worry about here. Get back to the office, Max. I can take him. I don't need you to take him. I need him to do as he's told. If he dies, can I have his foot, Max? Max. Oh, come on, mate. We'll soon have this under control, don't worry. Ready to come? OK. Here you go. Got it. Right. Now, this is a local to numb you a bit. Better get someone to cover your work today. I'll come back later when we can talk. I've got this. Go get yourself cleaned up. Um, Harvey's let us down again. I might need a couple of hours this afternoon. Sucha. Look, I am sorry that your ex has messed you about, but I can't have Max on the ward. Not even in the office. Understand? I just want him prepped and ready for theatre after lunch, OK? Excuse me, excuse me. This is supposed to be a working hospital. Thank you. This is just perfect. Wow, it's just an idea I had. You're a genius. I'm just going upstairs for a recce. OK. What happened? I got Anthea Sanders on the fifth yesterday. How? <clears throat> well, I just did a bit of juggling. I think she's a larger-than-life character. I think she'll look good in the promo. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just scouting out locations and possible interviews. I'd appreciate it if you could make yourself available at one. We'll put the word out to our patients. And nobody have an emergency. Dad? My union rep says maybe I should see a solicitor. But as a courtesy, I'm talking to you first. Excuse me, I thought you'd agree to leave the premises. <laughs> it don't get rid of me that easy. Margaret, I'm a smoker. As a consequence, I've got some kind of lung disease. All you've got is a persistent chest infection. Your conspiracy theory was amusing at first, and we go back away. But enough's enough. I can't walk upstairs without needing to sit down. I know the truth. You can't hide from that. Her husband died last year, leaving her without a penny. I can't give her what she wants. The least I can give her is somebody to sound off at. Not everybody's that thoughtful. You've got to be kidding me. I told you not to come on the road. I need to practice more. I need to be ready and focused. I'm not stuck in here. I will come and get you in an hour. I promise. I could call Charline about this. Keep lipping me, and I'll really give you something to call them about. Yeah. You need to sign this. It's a release form. It says you give permission to be filmed. I've already signed mine. Yours? I'm going to be in it too. Why? Why do you think? Oh, don't want to hear your, your nail by mouth, remember? Oh, I was thinking I'd still been bumped. Sorry. You've been inconvenienced. It's not always like this. We're getting there now, though, thanks to you. I've got your bloods back, so, uh, Carrie, if you wanted to go and grab a cup of coffee or something. What is it? Um, I'm afraid that patient confidentiality means that I, I can't. Anthea doesn't mind, do you? I mind about a lot of things. Being made to sit here like the last prize in a raffle. This constant smell of cleanliness. What's up? Oh, it's fine. Your bloods show poor liver function. Looks like you may have cirrhosis. That will affect the clotting of your blood in theatre, so we need to keep an eye on that. You promised. I promised I'd try. That's why you didn't want me to know. Hiding from me like a little child. Why did you come here? You think you're hurting me, but you're hurting yourself more. You care too much. Everything went fine, Mr Brennan. We're just pushing your test through now. 
Where's Margaret? She's been waiting outside. Please show her it. If your condition worsens, I want you to know. I'll ask her to leave whether you want me to or not. You think he's this pillar of the community, don't you? Ask him about the butter substitute. Butter substitute? It's a chemical we use instead of real butter. Tastes just the same. And as I've already told Margaret, there's nothing wrong with it. Not according to what I've got off the internet. <laughs> the net's a conspiracy theory sweet shop. You started using it after your trip to the States. This is all academic until you've had proper tests. So, why don't we get you looked at right now? I can pay to rush it through. Oh, I don't know if you can... I, I thought I saw Mrs Beecham through those doors. Could you ask her as a favour? Once and for all, let's find out what's wrong with you. I don't know if... Ah, how are Daniel's responses? E. coli and reactive. Mm -hmm. um, do you mind if I take a couple of hours now to get back to the footy trials? Have a word with your supervisor. Probably the best thing is to take it as a day off and reschedule. Don't need to do that. I work through lunch. I just need a couple of hours or so. All right. Um, clear your workload. Prove we won't be short-staffed. And I'm sure it'll be OK. Thank you. I'll get these scripts to the pharmacy. Save waiting for a porter and I'll ring the crowd. Can you fill up for you, Michael? That's all right. Usually got some tips at the back. Help yourself. I got into a fight once at school. Didn't go like you, though. Mine was over a girl. What was yours over? I don't remember. If you don't remember, do you think that you deserved it? Don't tell her. She'll lynch me. she put me back with the drug rats. Tom is happy to cover you if it weak. Told him he could have your job permanent. You're sacking me? You're only helping out until you got yourself a proper job. Well, get out of there! What the hell do you think you're playing at? He's hiding from his mum. He wanted the football magazine, that's all. Get off him! No, I, I, I wasn't meaning... You hurt me. Not half as much as I would. You've scared me half to death. And Max! What? Nice ring. Margaret, Nurse Williams tells me you have a chest infection you'd like me to look at. Yeah, my GP's trying to get to the bottom of it. Can I just explain? This is highly irregular. And it's only as a favour to Mr. Bremen. But I will do it. OK. Yeah. Right, let's get a chest X-ray, CT scan, and while we're at it, let's do a lung function test. Your test results should be back soon, Lawrence, OK? Thank you. Do I look OK? Perfect. Come and sit down. Are you see my sound guy? Oh, sorry. We can start without him. Carrie could hold it, if that's your problem. What? Oh, it looks a bit like you, anyway. There's a documentary in the making. Twin sisters separated at birth. One went feral, the other went into banking. Anthea, could you sit down, please? You're completely out of shot. So, what do you want to know? Hmm? How many lovers have had? Or how somebody can be kept waiting for an operation three days on the bounce? Do you want me to open my wrists for you? Look, can we do this another time? I need to talk to my patients. How do I live on the pittance I make? That's a good question. Or a more painful one. Where are all my friends? You see how many cards and, and presents he's got? And all I get is grapes from a passive-aggressive whose smothering is driving me up the wall! You've said enough. <laughs> it's not how you wanted it, is it? Next to me on the screen, like some middle-aged, middle-class, middle-of-the-road couple. Could you be any more in denial? Two and a half years later and she still thinks it's casual. Was it casual when I rocked you, crying to sleep because you couldn't remember an entire weekend except the bill said 27 bottles of wine, which I paid, you silly cow! Well, I don't know why you put up with me. Yes, you do. But if I say it, you'll never speak to me again. Good luck with the operation. You take good care of her. She's well liked in certain circles. Oh, Carrie. How uh, you done? Will you tell Naomi that we need to prep Anthea for theatre? Has Anthea done the interview? She's upset. Diane, they want to interview somebody before and after theatre. That's what the slot's for. So no interview, no operation. 
to see what I can do. Excuse me. Right, are, um, are we ready to try the interview? I'd rather not, no. We have already wasted over an hour. I need to get her into theatre. If she won't let us film her, we're wasting our time. Tell me what you'd rather, a good promo or a half-finished one. Anthea, you do realise that if you don't do the interview, I'm going to have to go into theatre with somebody else. Are you saying I've been bumped again? I'm afraid so. Oh, there you are. I didn't need your help. Oh, really? You shouldn't run off like that. Now, listen, kiddo, something's come up. But I'll get that sorted and then we're off to the trials, right? I need time to warm up. I can't just get up the car and run the pitch. Oh, I'm keeping plates up here, Max. Don't be the one to jump off the stick. May as well not bother. All right, fine. We're well tight. That's enough. Now say sorry. Say sorry to your mum, or I won't take you to the trials. Are you serious? I'm off shift, I don't mind. No, thanks, we're all right. Jeez, Mum. <sighs> don't you want me to cheer you from the touchline? Got to hurry, though, we're already late. Sure you're OK about this? I just don't want him to think if he whines enough, he'll get what he wants. Might be nice if he just said thanks. It's amazing how quick this can be done. My GP said the wait could be up to three months. So it was worth hounding Mr. Brennan down then. I didn't ask for this. He wanted to pay. So should I say no and let all the others on the waiting list go first? You can do whatever you want. I'd like to see you hang on to your principles if your husband died and left you with nothing. My daughter's family depend on me and the help my pay packet gives them. If you need anything, just press this button, OK? You want me to feel guilty for chasing what I deserve? Well, I won't. We all deal with guilt differently, don't we? Nice one, Louise, would you? Lawrence, I am truly sorry. But your test results show you're suffering from a lung disease called bronchiolitis obliterans. Is it treatable? It can be. Which means? Lawrence, you're at end stage lung disease. Now, we can explore the possibilities of a transplant, but at your age... Does that kind of thing only happens when... Well, I mean, a transplant is last resort time. We'll increase the uh, pain relief. And I'll look into medication to protect your body from infection. I'm going to die. Right now, let's just focus on making that later rather than sooner. OK? I didn't even lock my back door. Is this what I've got? I've just been told I'm going to die. Look at that stuff, then you'll see why I'm scared. Please, Mr. Bremen, would you look at it, please? I hope people who can get you work in Edinburgh. As for Christmas and birthdays, cards will do. This isn't fair. You want to call your sister, fine. But she's the only person in my family you speak to. You got that? Nothing happened. Maybe, but everything has changed. I thought you were going to football. Change of plan. Well, if you're staying, no more Max. On the ward, in the office, or anywhere you shouldn't be. I mean it, Kyla. Kyla, can you cover for me? I'm going to pop up to Darwin. There's a guy I'd like to... Oh, you're terrible. I'm supposed to be seeing Justin. I see you're the worst, why don't you? It's not like that, OK? Yeah, whatever. I think you should go. What? Right now, before I call the police. You told her. You don't scare me. Get away from my patient. I bet you didn't tell her everything, though, right? Phil, oh, please. You've got me pegged as this monster, and it shows how little you know. What I do know is you need to see someone to sort out your issues. But this pervert gets your sympathy. Shut up. No, he thinks he can have a few drinks and tell me his sick mind. Tells me what he'd like to do to my kids. He tells me as a kiddie fiddle, all crying and upset, and I'm supposed to feel sorry for I him. I never said... I've never done anything. Look, I've got a four- and an eight-year-old, his own nieces, and he tells me he thinks a kid's in a way no man should. Don't come near me or my family. I don't ever want to see you again. You don't have to read that, you know. You've already done the decent thing by her. My grandma left me her house and her recipe for shortbreads. I took a loan against the house, 
to start up Bremen biscuits in a disused mill. Margaret's been with me ever since. And you've paid to have a test rush through. My grandmother's shortbread was our number one brand. But to compete, we had to cut corners. We used a butter substitute, which some lawyers are now saying can cause lung disease. Eating the biscuits is fine. The danger's in the factory. Nothing's been proven. I can show you a website that says Elvis is still alive. <laughs> oh, do you know where she went? To get some water, I think. You, me and Mum, have a takeaway. Bring it back to mine tonight. Uh, you two do it. Spend some time with your Mum. I've, uh, I've got other parts. Look, if I've done something to upset you, would you mind telling me? <coughs> yeah. yeah. I'll get you some linters for that cough, eh? <coughs> It just looks to be blocked. There you go. Well? What's up? You said you were going to take some of the weed. Do you know what? I asked him to come back to mine tonight and he couldn't even be bothered to think of a good excuse. Margaret, if you'd like to sit down, I'll have your test results. I'm afraid for a non-smoker, there are a few things that concern us. You do have more than an infection. There's a possibility of early stage lung disease. Well, um, I'll have to run some more tests. A lung disease like Mr. Brennan's? Similar, yes. Less pronounced. But the good news is we've caught it early, so we can treat it with medication. You'll soon be back at work, so you have Lawrence to thank for that. Unless I got it in his factory because of his thorn cutting. Yes, but it's very difficult to say how you got this disease. Could just be a coincidence. Maybe it's time to let it go. <coughs> Is he okay? Can't. Why? Lawrence? Can't. Breathe. Lawrence. Okay. Just tell me how it feels. Lead. Hmm? Wait. Right. Heart rate 120. Sets her down. Hang in there, love. Thanks, empty. Let it down. Oh. You put excess fluid into the body of a man with lung disease. I just need to put some fusion right in your IV. Lawrence, you have fluid collecting on your lungs. That's what's causing the discomfort. Once the diuretic works its way through, it should ease up. All right, I am so, so sorry about this. Whoever's responsible will be severely reprimanded. It wasn't her. Who was it? That male nurse. Nurse Williams. It was Mark. Excuse me. Damn. Listen, uh, keep Anthea Sanders nil by mouth. I, I'm not promising anything, but if I can finish my laparotomy in time, I'll sneak her in at the end of the day. Okay? Fantastic. Thank you so much. Why the change of heart? Well, I was just sorry to hear that she'd been bumped because she wouldn't take part in the promo. Didn't Nick tell you? Thanks for letting me know. Nurse Williams. Why aren't you on AAU? Hmm. Sorry? That's where you usually work and where you can cause least damage. You see, on Darwin, we tend to look after critically ill patients who need nurturing. Or drowning. I'm going to call you back. Do you understand? Actually, we were short-staffed, and the bank nurses were not suitable, so I asked Nurse Williams to join us here. You've no idea. You incorrectly set up an IV drip that fed fluid into the lungs of a very unwell man. Miss Trisha and Mr. Berman told me it was you. Is he all right? Oh. At least you have the decency to ask. Get him off my ward. She thought it was me. I'm already in trouble for taking time off. Right, can we try and keep this down, please? So you thought you'd dub me in, eh? You bodged it. And a sick man was in danger because of you. All right, stop this, OK? Take it into the office. Mrs. Beecham says it's treatable, so it's not like what you... I should have realised you wouldn't. I'm so sorry. Well, well, stop using the butter substitute. As of now. Even if there's no link, it's not worth risking. Here we are. Whenever you feel pain that you can't cope with, press this button. 
just going to a chat. That's this one that brings me. <laughs> I'm not out of job, mind you, but pretty quick. Could I have a drink, please? I'll get it. You know, like when you're doing a crossword puzzle and you've got a word that fits the boxes but the clue don't match? Maybe I did just see a way out of my money troubles. I won't bother you for anything else. OK, Margaret. If you're sure. Right, I'll go through that again. Mr. Pugh is an interesting case. He came in with a rare blood disease. Hicks, sir, I told you so. After a previous I think that Mrs. Beecham must have pressurised him to doing it. <laughs> Ask the director. She'll tell you who's pressuring who. Sorry. Hello. Hello, it's Naomi, isn't it? Yeah. Hi. Sorry, I'm just a bit pushed. We're about to shoot some exteriors before we lose the location. Must be pretty cool, though. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Beach and Miss Mew. Run around all over the hospital. Well, it was down to Mr. Jordan, mostly. It was his idea. He really went out of his way for me. Which is nice, because I'm not as experienced as some. But more talented than most. Really? Yeah. Mr. And as he got me the gig, I thought I'd return the favour, which is why he's the star of the promo. I think I'm all right now. Well, he certainly is that, isn't he? Naomi? Ready now. I'm here. I'm in pain. It's really hurting. It's agony. How's this? <laughs> Your gallbladder's pretty angry. Do you know where Carrie is? I'm going to see about getting you into the theatre. Can you put us on this, please? Go into the theatre straight away. Mr. Jordan. Sorry to interrupt. Brian, Excuse please. me. Sorry. Yeah. Anthea Saunders, she's got BP of 100 over 60, her sets 95, she's got pain in the right upper quadrant, she's running a fever of 38, so I'm going to be taking her into theatre next. And although I'm sure Mr Pugh is a fascinating case, I've got a very scared patient over there who's in a lot of pain. I'm sure that doesn't interest you. Where are you going? Taking Miss Sanders into theatre. But I can't film her, she's refused permission. I'm sorry, I don't care. It's all right. I can handle it. Your profile's more important. Are you suggesting your consultant is not welcome? Well, what's happening? It's OK. We're taking you into theatre now. Oh, what about them? They're not important. They're not coming anywhere near you. Tyler, I noticed on Daniel's chart that his leg obs haven't been done recently. Now, you promised you wouldn't have your head somewhere else. I'm just about to do them now, Dr Griffin. See that you do. I have to test your leg senses again. Can you close your eyes, please? Can you feel that? No. Can you feel anything? The deep sense of shame. I'm talking about your leg. What about you? Yeah, I can feel it just. My leg feels like somebody's wrapped a wet towel around it. It's getting tighter. I'm concerned you might have what's called compartment syndrome in your leg. It's caused when there's a build-up of pressure and it can cause nerve damage. I do tell myself it's wrong. You know, I know it's wrong. But the more I try and push those thoughts out, the more they grow. I will need to get a second opinion, of course. I haven't ever done anything. I keep away from places where it's going to get the better of me. Help me, please. Because these images in my head, you know, they're churning me up. I mean, look at me. This happened because of what I think. You know, I didn't do anything and I get treated like this. Hi, Mum. You feeling better? Not much. Thanks for asking. I scored a goal. It was so cool, wasn't it, Justin? If you could win awards for scoring off your shin, you'd get one, mate. And I got a really gruesome tackle from behind. Look, don't touch him. What do you think I'm going to do? Absolutely nothing. You better believe that. Didn't you hear? I was great. Yeah? Well, the coach rang and I'm sorry you didn't make the team. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, Max, don't shoot the messenger. I'll go again. What is it with everyone? I can handle this. Of course you can. You're Lawrence Bremen, right? Should you be up here? Do I know you? Uh, not really. No, uh, Donna Jackson. You helped me out once. You see, I was the first person in my family to go to college. Well, I wouldn't have been able to do it without a bursary I got from Bremen Biscuits, so... My elder sister was a nurse. She used to say there weren't enough in the world. 
I wanted to make sure there was money for a few more. Well, if there's ever anything I can do to repay you for what you did. Yeah. Remember me fondly. A man makes decisions in his life which he hopes are founded in decency. I've tried to be honest and leave a legacy I can be proud of. Well, you will. Right, I've called down to air you. Dad's not down there. He's not answering his mobile. Have you got any idea where he could be? Oh, he's sulking. Let me finish here. I'm going to go and find him. So when did patients slip so far down our list of priorities, then? Uh, Diane. I'll cut you some slack because I know you're upset, but I will not have you openly insulting me in front of my team. Do you understand? Oh, we've got a problem. What's wrong? She's regurgitating gastric content. She can't be. She's nil by mouth. You yeah, would have heard. I did the prep. She knew she was nil by mouth. She wouldn't have taken anything. Except for a cheeky shot or two. Well, that explains the cirrhosis. Did you talk to her about her alcohol abuse? Yes. Uh, I even suggested counselling, but she absolutely denied it. She said it was an old issue. So she needs to drink so badly, she's prepared to risk serious damage in theatre. OK. What do you want to do? Well, she drank out the ward. I feel she made the call. I agree. Let's take her back. No, we should operate. Diane, she's just aspirating to a lung. We could put a catheter into the ET tube, keep her chest clear. Well, I could, but I feel her negligence should cost her this slot. I mean, she's wasted all our time. Now, we've wasted her time for days. It's not in her best interest to send her back. Can you cope if we do operate now? Hmm, of course I can. Last time I saw you smoking a cigarette was when we got divorced. I saw even for special occasions. Those moments when the sniff of death improves the day. Mark, you'll have to tap on. And you got a deserved slap wrist for it. You want to improve your day. Apologise to Connie and Lawrence Bremer. I wish you hadn't come back, do you know what? And I wish I wasn't the one holding this family together. How did you get to be so saintly? I'm keeping my troubles to myself. I am in bits here! And you're letting everybody know it. Do you think it doesn't turn me up inside? I had a chunk of cancer ripped out of my body. Getting raped by your father caused that cancer, because I had to hold on to it for so many years, keeping it to myself. Well, they've gone now. Your man, the cancer. And I've got to move on. And you've got to find a way to do the same. I promised myself that I would never lie to Chrissy again when I came back into her life. And now I'm the biggest lie in it. Now you're a dad. In every bone of your body, that's what you are. Act like it. Easy to say. When that monster held his hand over my mouth, it was you I was calling for. And when I told you, you didn't even believe me. You talk about moving on, and you, you keep on dragging it up again. You talk about taking the easy way. That's what you're doing right now. Wearing it on your sleeve. Because it takes guts to bury it. Who's wearing it now? I'm trying to protect Chrissy. What are you doing? Oh, at least have the guts to leave. If you can't give her what she needs, just get out of our lives. Going home. Do I have to sign something? You can't just discharge yourself. I'm pretty sure I can. Your leg is in a bad way. It needs to be monitored. Uh, I just want to go home. I can't stop you from leaving. You just have to sign a form. But I have to urge you, Mr. King. If you walk out of here, you're effectively refusing treatment and going against my strongest advice. Fine. If your leg gets any worse, the area around the wound has to be removed and you'll end up with a hole in your leg. 
Thanks for the warning, but I'm still going. I've done nothing wrong, you know. What was that all about? I've no idea. Maybe your head's been somewhere else. But in the future, while you're here, make sure you do what you're paid for. I'm going home. Oh, don't be like that. I'm sorry. I'm super sweet and sorry. You should have left with plenty of time. Then I could have gone in the zone. Yeah, well, you know that, because you're the sensible one. I'm just the mum. I'm not letting any harm come to you, kiddo. I promise. Hey. Wow, you look nice. Hmm. Thank you. Maxed out my credit card to get it. Guess this makes me a lucky guy. Yeah, so lucky you have to wear the drinks all night. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'll go and sign up with Lola and then we'll go, yeah? Cool. Thanks for taking Max. Just glad I could help. Well, you did help. Any sir. Well, like tonight. I was joking. Just. Of course. Have a good night. You too. See you later, kiddo. Here's just you, me, and a pizza. Take this. It's not meant as an acceptance of culpability on my part. We share a similar illness, but it's just a terrible and innocent coincidence. You're buying my silence. I will be remembered for my charity, for my good name, Chrissy. Right, this has got to stop, OK? Oh, these mood swings, you're distracted at work. I know, love. Listen. And I ask you not to take that away from me. He sucks her down, 60, BP's 50. Oh, are you? We need to get him flat. Can you keep back, please, move to work? That will be. OK, we need to get him on 100% oxygen. Come on, Lawrence, you can Start do this. Start him. He needs to be integrated. He's arrested. Charge 200. Charging. Stand clear. He must have a mucus block in his chest. I need to get him back so I can get him into theatre. Charge 200. Clear. And again. Charging. You told me the Colonel was Connie's idea. Why did you lie to me? Naomi has big ambitions. Anyway, it's nice to tell people sometimes. If the video is good, it'll go to GP surgeries and universal medicine is a very competitive industry now. OK, let's dim these lights, please. But why lie to me? Because your opinion matters to me. People always think the worst of me, Diane. Can't help that. There we are. That's the root of the problem. Just leave everything as it is, please. There is no need to open her up. Could you pop next door and get the laparoscopic needle holders, please? You can't be serious. You're not going to suit you laparoscopically. I certainly am. But it's too risky. We won't have adequate control. Yes, we will. Oh, I'm inclined to agree with Miss Lloyd. We need better exposure. Come on, quickly. That's a fallacy. There is no point in opening her up when everything I need to see is up there on that plasma screen. In fact, it's a better, cleaner view. I think that you're just trying to get her off the table quicker so you can get back in front of the camera. <laughs> You said that operating on Anthea today was in her best interests. Not opening her up for the sake of it counts too. I'm going to call it. Time of death, 21.47. He's dead. OK, that's good. No, I've just got to pick up on the other side. You're through. Right. One for another. That's some nifty needlework. I've never seen anyone do this before. Well, it's much less invasive surgery. Opening up a patient is the way it's always been done. Don't change it. There you go. That's the bleed stopped. That's fantastic. Let's get that gallbladder out. Over to you. No, no, no. I'll do these. It's my turn. I'd like to. All right, you can collect some of his personal belongings. He was always well-dressed. What happened? Mr Brennan got a chest infection. He's too ill to fight it off. That's mine. What price is truth? Personally, I think truth's overrated. 
You should have told us you had a drink, Anthony. You could have died. I was thirsty. For gin? We saw your liver in theatre. You're an alcoholic. You need to see somebody. You sound like Carrie. I called her to let her know that you were out of theatre. I tried to write you a letter before I went into theatre. You haven't written much. To my love. This more. That's enough. I'm going to kick the drinking. Only I don't think I can do it without you. So, I was thinking it's probably for the best if you move in with me. Just to make sure... I'm to make sure I'm not without you. I don't think that's such a good idea. Then let me show you it is. Well, I hear that you performed a laparoscopic suture today. What trail do you intend to blaze next, I wonder? What's that supposed to mean? It means that Keller is not your personal laboratory. But it worked. Oh, come on, Diane. Don't let him tell you this was about the patient. It's not. It's about him. It's about the headlines. You can't have it both ways. Either I'm slumming it or I'm grabbing headlines. Please let me know when you've made up your mind. Right. We're off. Thanks, everybody. All done? Oh, what's this? Thought you might enjoy it. Oh. Let me know what you think. The uh, number on the back is my home phone. Oh, right. <laughs> anyway, um, seeing as you're both here together, um, would you be my supervisor on the cardiovascular research post? That would be a privilege, Diane. Thank you. It's about time this hospital moved with the times. Starting with this. What are you doing? <laughs> There's a machine in Connie's office. Who wants to see whether all the chaos was worth it? Diane, I wanted to... Watch it on your own first. No. I don't I... think so. Who's coming to the premiere of the Nick Jordan show? Rick? I don't think so. This is Beecham. I wanted to say I'm sorry. It, uh, I know it doesn't help. But it won't happen again. Oh, you can be sure about that. Because from now on... Later, Williams will check all nurse allocation on Darwin with me, personally. What? You want to farm out work to your family? You do it on Keller. And until I can be sure your rotors don't smack of nepotism, I'll keep checking. Happy now? Oh, God, I don't... Oh, you are not, not going anywhere. Something has caused you to disappear for two months. And something to turn you into a shoddy nurse. So, no, neither of you are going anywhere until you tell me what's been going on. Coming. It's showtime. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. Yeah. Let's do this today. We're all tired. Well, when shall we do it? When you decide to disappear for three months? Or well, maybe you'll decide to go off for years and I won't see you. I'm going nowhere, love. I've told you I'm here to stay. Oh, don't bother. I mean, if you keep lying to me, I'd rather you did go. No one's lying, no one's going. But what am I? Eight years old, hiding in my bedroom, waiting for you to stop throwing things at each other. Parents have got a right to protect their kids. Yeah, well, I'm not a kid anymore, OK? And all this silent treatment is clearly not working. I mean, what is the worst thing this could possibly be? An affair? Oh, I've taken my lead from you two there. Had my share of those. You can't protect me from that. This is getting us nowhere. Do you know what? You are such a coward. Sometimes I, I actually wonder how we're related. What? What, what was that for? Oh, there you go. Well, he is a coward, I can call him that. Oh, yeah. Doesn't get us anywhere, though. All right, so if it's not that, what is it? What are you on about? I mean, you're my dad, aren't you? Of course he is. I want to hear him say it. Oh, don't be daft. 
さえ You know, he's known for a couple of months. So if he's not my dad, who no, is? No, he is. Stop it! Tell me the truth. Who is it? I don't know. Um, I think there were a few at that time. Oh, Chrissy, love. No! <laughs> I keep my stethoscope where it's warm, close to my heart. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.